Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toyota located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2021 Toyota RAV4 Trail. Now the most notable features on this trail is its power moonroof. You also have heated and cooled front seats along with your power liftgate. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2021 Toyota RAV4 Trail. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this trail is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lights. And then taking a closer look just over on the side, you do have your aluminum alloy wheels, integrated signal lamps, foldable mirrors, and then taking a look on the inside of the mirror, you're gonna find your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just looking at there is another vehicle right beside you. Spark key system with it as well. Up top, you'll find the roof rails, and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is Lunar Rock. Now, taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you do have your black interior with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Automatic high beams, window wiper de-icer, heated steering wheel, and power liftgate release. Now, you do have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now, taking a look at the steering wheel, you do have your scroll function, Bluetooth connectivity, volume control, voice recognition, lane departure alert mode, select and seek function, along with your cruise control. Now, it does come equipped with the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here, so if you take a closer look, as you can see, you have your a well, your sorry about that, your uh, fuel economy with the distance to empty, and then you can also go through and take a look at your lane departure alert with your audio, all-wheel drive, trip info. You can also go through your settings menu and adjust a couple of things accordingly, just so you can personalize everything for yourself, and your messages menu. Now you have a digital clock along with that. You do have the exterior temperature gauge, and then taking a look at the center dash area. Inside your menu screen, you're going to find your audio phone apps as well as a couple of other additional features. Now, with the apps menu, it's part of the Entune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use such apps as the Scout GPS app, which allows you to stream your maps from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports course, just depending on what your preferences are. You have your Sirius XM satellite radio with your hazard lights, dual zone climate control settings, heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger with your USB and your power outlet. You have the wireless charging pad as well, so once you have it turned on, you can just place your phone on top and have it start charging for you. It's mad, well, I should say it's equipped with an automatic transmission with the Eco Normal and Sport, mud, sand, rock, and dirt feature, and then you also have your snow mode and downhill assist control. Now, as you can see, when you actually change the mode, it'll actually change color on here, and then if you want to just go back to your normal mode, just hit the uh, center button. Now, if you take a closer look up top, you have the SOS Connect with the open and close and tilt up and down feature for the power mooner for the sunglass case holder. And then if we take a closer look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines and they're making things much easier for you when you're backing into a stall. And you can also change out the backup camera view to a more dynamic view or the traditional backup camera view you're used to. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as the tailgate. Now located just on the back, you're gonna find your backup camera on the left-hand side and the rear hatch release located just in the center. Now, all you have to do is push on the button once and then if you close in on the rear cargo space, you do have the 60-40 split for the rear seat. So in the event that you need the additional space, it's available to you. And then you also have the spots located over on the left and right hand side, just in case you wanna fold the seats down right away. And taking a look just underneath the floor, you do have your cargo cover, which is nice because in the event that you do need it, you can actually have it uh, taken out underneath the floor. Or if you're not actually using it, you can place it underneath the floor with your spare tire as well as your jack and tool kit. And then you can also flip this piece over as well, just in case the cargo that you're hauling is a little bit rougher on the carpet side. And if you want, you can lower this down a little bit further just in case you need a little bit more extra space up top. And then over on the right hand side, you'll find that power outlet as well. The other nice thing is that you can actually readjust the tailgate for yourself. So if you want to set the height, all you have to do is hold down the button for approximately two seconds at the height you like it at. It'll be two times. Then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height. Now, if you want to reset the height for yourself, 
Hold down the button for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times. Then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. A couple of uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.